and also some secret recipe. I think like how to heal your cough by drinking lemon with uh, honey, warm water in the morning. Yes. Okay. Hello everyone. Hello. Welcome back to IELTS Shang Bag. I hope that you all had a nice day today. Today again, I'm with teacher Aaron from England. England, and today again we are coming with. But today we are doing a, a little bit special. We are doing IELTS speaking part. Part three. Part three, right? So um, part three will be more challenging because you have to answer up to at least one minute for each answer. So very challenging. They test your general knowledge because part one and part two is already about ourselves. Like, do you like cooking? Or like, uh, like, um, do you love science? Something like that. But part three, they will ask you like more bigger term, like very general knowledge. Talk about the whole country or something. So um, the topic we are going to talk about today is an interesting old person that it, you have met. Mm, so in part two, they ask you to describe an old interesting person that you have met, and in part three, there will be follow up questions. And now, teacher Aaron will ask me on the spot. As always, I don't know what kind of question is he going to throw throw to me. Throw, throw out, at you. Throw, throw at you. Throw at me. Uh, and then I will just answer on the spot and try my best and he will give me the feedback at the end of the session and stay tuned until the end where you can learn a lot of valuable feedback and learn a lot of vocabulary from that. So, Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Let's get started. Okay. Yeah. Do you think old people and young people can share interests? I think yes, why not? I mean like obviously we have generation gap like most people think but I think at the end of the day, as long as you have similar interests, then you can find like-minded people despite your age, irrespective of your age. So let's say my friend James Doyle, he's my really beloved teacher. He's 65 years old, but he's like a walking encyclopedia. <laughs> yeah, he knows everything. So we can talk, we can waffle on all day about traveling, even about politics, about anything, anything in, in life. Uh, you name it. So I think that as long as you have the same mindset and value in life and same interests and hobbies, then yeah, it, it doesn't matter about the age really, right? What can old people teach to young people? Oh, there are an abundance of things that I can think of off the top of my head. I mean, like the elderly, they possess a valuable knowledge and they can share a lot in terms of life experiences obviously because they have a long life they live longer than us they have years of experiences in terms of relationship career life advice anything even some cooking recipe that my grandmother often give it to me like how to nail the chung cake how to cook like some traditional vietnamese food and also some secret recipe. I think like how to heal your cough by drinking lemon with uh, honey, warm water in the morning. Yes. Okay. Is it easy for young people and old people to make friends with each other? Well, I feel like this question is similar to number one, right? I mean, like as long as I don't think age, some people think age is a big factor, but for me, at the end of the day, age is just a number. So yes, why can't we be friends with old people? As long as they have young spirit, they are open-minded, they are, they are non-judgmental, so why can we be friends with them? I mean, like I have a lot of like, oh, I remember one of my old friends, the only oldest friend that I have at the moment now, besides James Doyle, who I just mentioned, is Mark Hemingway. And he's like, I think he's 75 years old already, but he's traveling all around the world, and he's a great public speaker, so we can be great friends. So yeah, we can be friends with anyone. Are there benefits when one person is interested in another person? If so, why? Actually, this question is quite hard quite to like, yeah. like, um, yeah, Rats. like, is it, is it, is it in terms of romantic or in terms of like, I say, I say, yes, obviously, obviously, if let's say if I'm interested in Aaron, right, as a teacher, 
then I can benefit a lot from him. I can learn so much from him. Everything he say, I can understand perfectly, right? If you another ben another huge benefit that you can gain if you are interested in another person is that oh you can, you can get on well with them uh, nicely. You can hit um you can um get well uh, get get on like a house on fire, right? And then it's just easier to share live viewpoints some different perspectives in life whereas if if you don't if you are not interested in someone then everything you say is just like conflicting on con- con- contradictory so like you say a they understand b so yeah how can we be friends together so yeah yeah and I, i understood the question do you think people are more selfish or self-centered now than compared to the past Mm, this is very tricky question, isn't it? I think I think yes. I mean, I mean if we talk about in the bigger terms because we are living in self um sorry, you say selfish, right? You say selfish. Selfish or self-centered. Selfish and self-centered. Yeah, selfish. Selfish is like you only think of yourself. I think yes. I mean like in terms of time because now we are living in a very competitive rat race. Everyone is constantly on the go. So people become more selfish with their time. I mean, like if everyone if everyone asks me to go out, I need to say no to some people because like I become more selfish with my time because I value my time more. I'm talking in terms of positive connotation. I'm not talking about I'm not talking about selfish in terms of like you don't want to share. You know what I mean? And self censure is like self censure in my to my knowledge. I think it's like overconfident i think so a bit arrogant a bit a bit egotistical so this question i think depends a lot on each individual because an each person will have different answer because from my anger like from my, my perspective i tend to see the good in people i don't really look at their negative traits so i think that yeah here and there we have good people here and there so yeah okay What benefits can people get if they are self-centered? Let's say um, if we talk about confidence, connota- con- confident connotation here, then obviously when you believe in yourself, when you believe in your potential, everything would be easier for you because at first you believe in yourself already. So the chance that you be, will be successful in life will be higher compared to those who always beat, beat their self, beat their self up, beat up their self. Whereas, if we talk about on the spectrum of overconfidence, then it's not good for you because sometimes we need to be humble. We need to show our modesty and we need to eat a humble pie. And then we need to like to know who we are and then we need to learn from what other people try to teach us or how life experiences try to teach us. So yeah, very tricky question, but I think that's, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but I think that we can talk about two different spectrums. So yeah. Very good. Thank you. Sean. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't expect that the, yeah. the questions are too difficult. Uh, anyway, do I understand the word self-centered correctly? Not quite. Okay. So self-centered is not the same as confident. Okay. I think oh. you gave a good answer despite not knowing, despite not understanding. Because I, I totally talk about yeah. confidence. Yeah, exactly. But that makes sense. A part of being self-centered is confidence. Wow. It's just, it's not the whole picture, you know. Mm. Um, wow. Um, but yeah, so he has a very long nose for me. <laughs> yeah, he? I think I crammed it in a very small part. So um, I'll start with the bad. So some pronunciations which were incorrect. Angle. So you said from my angle. You said it slightly wrong. Angle. 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 Yep. Okay. So um, you said I think it was on question one mm. when talking about old and young people sharing interests you is said there's a generation gap generation gap it's generational gap you need the a i thought in my head at that yeah. time but then i was like it's okay. maybe it's a compound now yeah um so you talked about there being an abundance you need to say there's an abundance there's an abundance yeah so. there is an abundance or there's an abundance mm. you can't say there an abundance right okay um you talked about years of experiences Drop the plural. It's just years of experience. Oh, again, It's very S- confusing, I know, yeah. Number one enemy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you talked about secret recipe. 
Right. Need the plural. Recipe. You could also say herbal recipes. Herbal when recipes. When you're talking about things which will help your sore right, throat, right, right. which you know what it is, yeah. Herbal recipe. Um, self-centered. So your pronunciation of center. Self-centered. Not be I careful with the R. Center. I pronounce in an American way. Try again. Self-centered. Centered. Yeah, that's okay. You said centered before. Oh really? You said slightly wrong, so centered. Yeah. Um, Crying. It's okay. Um, then we get on to the good. Um, so on part two, you had a great cadence, as in your speed was cadence? very good. Yeah. So the 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 rate or the speed at which you spoke at was nice and slow. Very good. Mm. Again, I would say for part for question four. So the, your your cadence your. Um, That's a very tricky. Question. That was a very. I thought oh you you slowed down because it was difficult, which is the correct thing to do. <laughs> If you don't understand the question, yeah, keep asking. Can yeah, you explain uh, again? Yeah. And slow down. Yeah. You, you can even it. ask yeah. the examiner yeah. if you don't understand. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, then some good lexical resource which you talked about. Straight away, you hit me with a rhetorical question. Mm, I can't remember which it? one it is. Or you I said, say, yeah, it? why not? Yeah. Mm. Um, you talked about something being here and there. Mm. Occasional, yeah, very good. Irrespective, very good. Mm. Age is just a number. Good phrase. It And is. get on like a house on fire. Again, very yeah. good. Mm. Um, for question four, Are there benefits when one person is interested in, yeah. in another person? So this is a very difficult question. I don't very even difficult. understand, like, so, am, I, am I answering correctly? Yes. However, there's more things to talk about. Right. What okay, you could say mm. is, I'm really interested in Chris, this old man, because he's had a great life. His lifestyle is incredible. A good role model. Yeah, he's a good role model. I want to hear. I'm interested in him. Therefore, I want to listen to him. Right. Something like this. It's mm. a, a very, yeah. The wording of the question was difficult. Um, the grammatical range could do with some conditionals. Yeah, they're hard to s squeeze in naturally. Mm. But once you start doing it and get the hang of it, yeah. you'll be fine. Get the hang of um, it. Understand. Uh, Yeah, you talked about um, a complete rat race. That's a great phrase to use. Um, you said when we're thinking about something in bigger terms, you bigger can. Umbrella. You, the, and I would the say spectrum. rephrase it. That's fine. Spectrum's fine, but rephrase bigger terms to bigger picture. Bigger picture. So when we think about we the bigger, the, exactly. If we yeah. look at a bigger picture. Yes. Yeah. Um, Self-centered is not the same as confident. That's fine. Mm. Um, humble pie. Very good to mention that. One thing you said slightly wrong was I think beef. you said beat them up. Beef. I say beef. Beef them up. Okay, you need to say beat themselves up. Beat. So if beat. someone is sad, they will beat themselves beat. up. Beat. You know this. Um, but fluency was very good. I thought mm. during those answers, mm. you had a very good balance to mm. your answers. You mm. said something and then you gave the opposite, mm. which was good. It balanced out, mm. especially on the questions which confused you. Mm. It was very impressive to see you still manage to balance it. Yeah, I'm, which I'm, like, I'm trying to say like, <laughs> um, But yeah, that's everything I would say yeah. for that question. See you guys when we are on the spot. Like yeah. so, like really challenging questions. Difficult. So it's really hard, very difficult. Right, again, thank you teacher Aaron for giving me a very valuable feedback. And anyway, what is my score? Um, <laughs> this one is harder to say. Um, mm. This one is hard, right? I think an eight for this one because mm. it is a quite a hard question. Mm. Um, hard question. It's not my fault. Yeah, it's out of your control. So <laughs> I think with things like these, just in preparation, you just got to do as many difficult questions as Precisely, possible. Yeah. Just got to get stuck in. Mm. And yeah. Get stuck in. Yeah, yeah, get yeah. Stuck in. yeah. So get stuck in just means. Get on with it. Get on with it. Do it. Do yeah. it. Get just stuck in. Just do, do the hard stuff. Get it do done. Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys. Make sure to give us a thumbs up as usual, and we wish you the best of luck. Make sure you leave a comment below and learn the vocab at the end of the video. Please, it's very important for you to nail your speaking. Take note, guys. Bye for now. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Put in the category. It's mm -hmm. easy for them to remember. Yeah. Today we come up with animals idiom. Yeah. Mm. So we have here dog horse. Is it common? In um, sports, yes. Common. Yeah, so um, right. mm. it's an underdog. Mm. That's what, that's what oh, underdog. Yeah. It's underdog? Yeah, an underdog. So, ah, yeah, 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 so yeah. Um, for instance, uh, at the Euros, uh, so, so, Slovenia so, or Slovenia. Turkey. Turkey, yeah, Turkey yeah, yeah. Were right, a dark right. horse. Ah. Nobody expected them to be. Got dark. it, got it, got I it. I think it comes from horse racing. Is it? Yeah. Mm -mm. 
Lone wolf, common. Cold fish, common or not? Cold fish. Uh, Never heard that before. Uh, not, I, I wouldn't say common for me in England, mm -hmm. maybe in America. You guys see, this is why, whenever. So this is this one from the uh, idioms book, idioms. English idioms in use and that is intermediate and you see it's a thing from the textbook we never know whether it's still very common or not and that's yeah. why we need to have the native speakers so exactly. thanks yeah. Aaron again okay. for consulting me so co-fish now guinea pig very common yes party animal also very common yeah. fly on the world yes very but um, not common it, it, it is it, it's a common phrase but you don't use it that often. Right. It, it takes a very specific set of right, circumstances. Right, right. Okay, so let's yeah. give it. Yeah. His bike is worse than his bike. Uh, not common, but not a common, very okay. interesting one, yeah. I never, I wouldn't hurt a fly. Yeah, very common. Very common. Yeah, yeah. Travel bug, very common. Yeah. No, not common. Um, yes, but it doesn't not have to be travel. It just means the bug, the something bug. Really? It's, 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 it's Movie relatively bug? common. Yeah, Movie the, bug? the football bug. Oh, really? So the specific one for football ah. is called football fever. Right, right, right. Football, football fever. Okay. Yeah, the foot caught the bug. You know, I'm just very interested in it. Ah, uh, right. Take the bite between her teeth now. Bit. Bit. The bit. No, um, not common. I don't think so. Yeah, I, it's more common than bark is worse than bite. But really? okay, I don't know how to. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't. Give me it. free reign. Um, no. yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Give me complete freedom. Yeah. So, common? um, what do I rate it out of ten? So ten is very common ones. Um, probably six. Mm, okay, yeah. Leave it there. A little bit told me. Yeah, I love common. that one. Yeah, that's good. Make a bee line for. Oh, not common. Yeah, five, six. Have a butterfly, very common. Yeah. Make a real pick of myself. Mm, no. Somewhat, you can that replace pig right. with anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, mm. blah, 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 yeah. Chase my tail? Uh, not common, I not would common. say. But uh, an mm. interesting one, yeah. Some mm. interesting ones there. Mm. Mm. Tyson. Ast Ast astrophysics. Mm -hmm. Astrophysics. What is yeah. it? What is astrophysics? Um, the. the study of, or the science of physics applied to um, celestial bodies, so. Select your body? Celestial bodies, mm -hmm. so like planets and That's asteroids so and suns and things like that. Sounds creepy. Yeah. Celestial bodies? She likes select. Celestial. Select. Celestial. Celestial.